Hi everyone, Stacey here today to do a uh, review on the Iconic Vera Tote. Um, do a compare and contrast and uh, go over you know, the older Vera all the way up to the Iconic Tote in the collection that I have, of course. Um, the Vera has been um, a staple of the Vera Bradley, Bradley product line for forever and a day. Um, not the, one of the original bags, but really close to it. It's been a great teacher bag. Um, that's what I keep hearing. The, the Vera is the teacher bag. It, it, close second, I think it's a pleated tote. But the Vera bag is the go-to. Um, I've used the Vera bag uh, mostly for travel. Um, I've used it as a baby bag. Um, I've used it on road trips. I've stuffed it with toys. It holds up really well. Um, so I do have quite a few Vera totes, and you can see that uh, collection and review in uh, my uh, Vera collection video. So that said, um, one of my oldest Vera totes is uh, my Vera in Carnaby. I'm saying Vera tote, Vera. This is the Vera, just called Vera, just that one four-letter word. Um, that can be confusing to people um, when they're looking for this bag. Um, sometimes when you're looking, well, actually, most of the time that I think about it, on third-party website, you can see XL uh, to distinguish that it's the Vera and not the Tote. The Tote is a lot smaller. And again, I show that in, in my uh, Vera collection. Um, but the older style, uh, the Carnaby here, not a pattern you see too often anymore. It's a great one for the fall. Um, the Vera has a zipper pocket here um, on the back. The front here has a slip-in pocket um, with a hand, very handy key ring. It is quilted, as you can see there. It has a tortoiseshell closure. Um, as you can see there. The straps are quilted as well and fairly thick, which I really like, especially when hauling heavy stuff like toys. It does have a sturdy base on the interior. Um, this one is cardboard. They've gone to either eliminating the sturdy base or using a plastic insert, which actually holds up really well in the wash. Um, as opposed if you accidentally washed your cardboard base, you know, it was ruined, it was soggy, it was gross. Um, you'd have to make one uh, to replace it, <laughs> speaking from experience. Um, and the interior has six pockets, all slip-in, on the inside. So it's quite a large bag. Um, I would say it's, it's not a medium-sized bag, it's a large bag. Um, it's one of the larger totes out there. It used to be one of the largest totes out there until they started really expanding on their tote line. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fun bag, and uh, you can see here at the top you've got your um, your border at the top there as well with the little Vera Bradley logo in there. So that is the older style of Vera. I'll put it close by just in case we need that again. Then I have the Bohemian Blooms. Um, I, f I failed to mention the, the Vera, um, up until recently, retailed for $86. So, substantial bag, higher price. I started making changes um, on the bag. Here it is in Bohemian Blooms, $86. Um, no more border. You have the piping instead, which I think gives it a very nice polished look. I really like that. Um, Turn it around to the front. That's the one thing with the Vera. I, it doesn't matter really which side you you carry, but I always get the front and the back mixed up. <laughs> You've got your huge interior pocket here. And actually inside of it has a um, slip-in pocket as well, but no key ring. And it's one of those that has a little bit of rustle to it. So, eh. And then you open it up here. A huge, huge difference now. Instead of the tortoiseshell closure, you have a recessed zippered closure. As you can see there, slightly recessed, probably goes down about an inch or so. And you've got a little bit of extra uh, zipper there to help you zip it up. 
still have your sturdy base. And it is cardboard in this one. I was thinking it had changed by then, but it was just on the cusp of being changed. This bag never lost its um, interior pattern lining, which is great. I love that. There is that beautiful interior lining. However, it's not quilted. Um, it still has six slip-in pockets, but like I said, it's not quilted. That's your biggest change. Now, I, have, I, I confess, I haven't seen the outlet uh, version of this, so I wouldn't be surprised if that is, interior is plain since it's a cheaper bag made for the outlet. Um, so you guys can tell me down below in the comments if that's the case, if you guys have one of those bags. I'm so far removed from a outlet. I, I told Vera Bradley I would love to have your outlet items, made for outlet only items, on the website, separate section, separate website, whatever. Um, because I feel like I'm blind to half of the brand just because I'm nowhere near an outlet store. <laughs> Obviously, I'm nowhere near a Vera Bradley store in North Dakota, but I can see it online. Different case for the outlet. So that's my little rant there. Sorry. I digress. Alright, so going back to the non-quilted interior. The um, straps, though, are still quilted with this, and they have the piping. So overall, I really like that. That said, it does remind me more of the Villager now, and I'll show you that here in a little bit. Um, it reminds me of a just a large Villager now, um, which obviously the Villager is a little easier <laughs> to search for than a Vera, so given the name brand. Okay, so now we've come up to the iconic Vera Tote. The price has gone up to $98, so we went from $86 to $98. Um, big difference here, no more um, sturdy base. Not crazy about that because I really feel like when these get a lot of use, that bottom is going to sag. Um, I really wish they hadn't got away from the sturdy base there. Um, also, I've seen, speaking of the sag, I've seen the reviews and the women that have really used this bag you know, as their go-to everyday bag, which a lot of people do, um, the structure. It doesn't hold up very well. Um, it folds in a lot easier now than the old style of Vera. That said, what I like about it, um, you have a sleeker look to, in my opinion, don't have the border anymore, which makes me sad, but um, I really, really like the smaller diamond, the quilted stitching there. Um, you've got a... Um, Zipper pocket on the front here instead of on the on the back and you've got a faux leather zipper pull instead of the ribbon So open it up there and now you also have a Charger pocket if you wanted to put in because there's the slip-in pocket behind it with the charger pocket um, elastic uh, Gusseted charger pocket if you have a portable phone charger you can throw it in there throw your wire put your wire through the the grommet there and then attach your phone to that to um, to be able to charge your phone while it's in your purse. That said, no more pocket on the back. It's all on the front. Now the interior, still kept with the uh, recessed zippered closure there. As you can see, still have the uh, zipper pull there. Like I said, no more no more sturdy base. And although, you know, they still kept the, um, the lining and, yeah, the, the Bohemian Blooms didn't have the quilted, um, interior either. I feel like this is way too loose. Um, way, way, way too loose. I feel like it needs to be tightened up. And I, I've seen issues where people have washed their their bags with this uh, this newer lining and it's ripped. Um, it, it's wipeable and that's great. It's it's easier to clean, but I'm not sure if the quality is still quite there because as you can see the the pockets are really sagging here. I feel like it has a little too much give to it. Yeah, like okay, I'm pulling the lining away from the rest of the purse, so it's not quilted together. Hmm. That said, I'll show you what I mean. Here's an older villager, Kid Paisley, not too terribly old. 
there. There's the Villager with the um, zippered and slip-in pocket there, and now there is the Vera. So really the two have come together as a very similar purses, um, whereas the Vera is just a little bit bigger than the Villager. There, there really isn't a whole lot of difference other than size to the bag. Um, yeah, this has the quilted interior lining. Um, another difference here, if I can get that flap over here. Now, they call it iconic, and one of the iconic changes they made, there we go, you see that zipper there, it's pretty bold. It's not um, um, blended with the fabric as like the Kiev uh, Paisley here, you can see the black zipper. However, the top zipper is more of a burgundy color. Um, plum, burgundy, brownish color there that matches. So they do have two different colored zippers there. Doesn't bother me. Um, that said, the zipper here, these newer zippers that they have can be pretty sharp. So be careful with that. I've scraped my fingers on my Carson's a couple times. A um, little bit of an ouch there. No blood, but ouch. Um, so tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the changes. Um, I'm glad that they, with this iconic line, not just the Virato, that they brought back the interior patterns. Um, we, we've, you know, made it quite clear that we wanted the interior patterns. But I still think there's a little bit of tweaking that still needs to be done. Um, bring back more of the quilted. Um, the strap here is not quilted. Um, but you do have it with the Bohemian Blooms. So, they don't have that, those thick straps. And there goes my son's guitar, toy guitar. There's the thicker strap there, a little bit thinner. Not too much, not really not too much. Um, and the, the missing sturdy base. So bring back sturdy base. I thought you had a really, really good thing going on with that plastic base going on instead of the cardboard. And bring back the quilted. I wish, really wish they could. Um, I don't know if it's a design thing, if it's a structural issue with the uh, trying to keep the, the interior wipeable. Um, maybe they can't quilt that. I don't know. Um, if you have any insight on that, please tell me in the comments down below. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, the more I learn about Vera, the better. Definitely. So, did I mention this was Heirloom Paisley? I think I did. Such a pretty pattern. They've, they've really hit a home run with the patterns here lately. I just, wow. Wow. Bravo. So, um, okay. I'm going to wrap this one up. Let me know what you think about uh, the changes to the Vera. They've expanded that line. You've got the small Vera toe and the small trim Vera toe and um, of course the iconic Vera and the Vera. So they've really expanded the Vera line. Um, I don't know going forward if everything's going to be iconic. I've heard that rumor, but I, it's not substantiated. Um, if you've heard it, great. Tell me down below. Also, um, like I said, I'm going to wrap this one up. If you want to follow me um, on social media, I'm on Facebook, The Amazing Shopper. Twitter, Amazing underscore Shopper. Instagram, The Amazing Shopper. Love to talk to you guys on all those forms of social media. Um, you can uh, also leave me comments down below. And also down below this video, you can see links to my blog, links to buy Vera Bradley. Um, if you want to give me a thumbs up, you found this informative or entertaining. <laughs> For you Vera, diehard Vera fans, maybe this was entertaining. <laughs> so if you're like me, yeah, riveted. <laughs> so, um, and don't forget to subscribe to The Amazing Shopper. Uh, be eligible for giveaways that we do. Um, I also do other purse brands, um, haul videos, pop sugar, stitch fix, all that fun stuff. Stuff I've done with my kids. So definitely check that out. Um, a lot of fun stuff going on with this channel. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap this up and I will talk to you later. Bye.